This, folks, is a rare form of cancer. So rare, less than 300 people are diagnosed each year. Now this young boy here is fighting it. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson is sharing his story, the story of five-year-old Hudson Sands. You know, punched in the gut every day, you know, with this diagnosis. The Sands family never imagined the past three weeks would go this way. We were told that his prognosis, it was um, a year at best. News a parent never wants to hear. After weeks of headaches, five-year-old Hudson was diagnosed with DIPG, diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, a type of tumor starting in the brain stem. They basically explained it like a normal tumor would be like a mass like this. This is intertwined into the brain like this. Hudson's is stage four, the most aggressive form. It's, it's been a very short time since he's, the tumor has really taken off. They don't know what sparked a growth spurt or whatever in the brain, um, but it's just grown considerably fast and it's the size of a, a plum right now. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital says the survival rate remains very low. Eight to 11 months is the average life expectancy from diagnosis. You know, these, these type of tumors have been around for 40 years. Um, that they first diagnosed them and there's been no progress on finding an effective treatment for them. Hudson has already had two surgeries. With less than five clinical trials, his family is hoping he's eligible for one that can buy them some more time. Um, we're narrowing in on this ONC201 trial that is out there um, because it's the only thing that we can see that may give us a shred of hope. The next two months will involve daily medication and radiation for Hudson. After that, they hope to make memories as a family in some of Hudson's favorite places. <laughs> Reporting in Olathe, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. Such a beautiful family. Hudson leaves this weekend for clinical trials in Houston. An online fundraiser for his family has raised almost $50,000 in less than two weeks. If you'd like to make a donation to help him and his family in their fight, we've got more information on our website. Well, you may remember this face. Two years ago, we introduced you to Aowen Mains. She lost her battle with the same form of cancer last year.